Hello YouTube, today we'll be talking about how to use PHP on your website in order to create dynamic content. And what I mean by this is that you can change one thing on your header and not have to go back to all your index.html files and your um, about.html and change all the code there. You can just change it in one place and it's across all other places. So let's start out by going to File, and let's hit New, and let's hit File from Template. And let's select HTML5. Let's name this index.php. And we'll hit Local. And this is just in our XAMPP folder. So it's under C, XAMPP, and then htdocs. And we'll put it right here. And we'll hit OK. And you can see here that index.php, and then hit Open. And here we go, we have our file. Now, this is a PHP file, but it's looking like there's HTML in it right now. Well, that's fine because we can use PHP inside of in a HTML-based document. So let's name this our index page. And then here, let's open up our PHP tag, and then let's close our PHP tag. So never really did much here currently. Let me just fix the tag here. And we can go to code, or it's under view, and then view as language, and then let's view it as PHP. And then just drop two lines here. And now what we need to do is create a header and a footer file, but you could also create a sidebar and whatnot. So let's do file, new, and let's do new file, and let's call this header. So in our header, we'll have a div ID of header. And we'll close that off. And we'll say this is the header file. And then we'll save this. And we're going to save it in our XAMPP folder, just like we did before, htdocs. And it'll be named header.php and it'll be all files, and we'll hit save. And now we can see here that it's been recognized as HTML. And this is great, so now we just have to create a new one, so why don't we just save this as footer.php, and then let's say that this is the footer file. And change the div ID right here because that'll be applied in our style sheet. And let's go and open up our file name of header. And let's just have both of these here. And we'll go to our index. And we want to use some code here. So what we're going to do is we can actually make this one line if we'd like. And we will say include. And then in parentheses, put a semicolon there parentheses, we'll have quotations, and we will say include header.php, and then we'll copy that line of code, and drop another line, and call this footer. And then here we can have some HTML, so let's have an h1 tag saying welcome home. And there we are. So let's try this out. We haven't applied our styling to our header or footer, but we'll do that later. And we'll go to our Google page, and we'll just go to 127.0.0.1. And here we see that we have, this is our header file, welcome home, and this is our footer file. And so those things are being referenced from those files that we saw earlier, but here they show up as plain HTML text. Well, that's because it's just parsing it and putting it into our page. That way we can update it and not have to worry about updating across all pages. So we could say that, we can say h3, look at the new update. Save that, go back here, refresh the page, look at the new update has appeared, we view the source and it looks like it's just been added into the page like nothing else. Well this is great because now what we can do is we can style these things in one style sheet. So up here, let's create a link, and that'll be a style sheet. 
and of type text words CSS. So then we'll name this style.css and then we'll close this link. Alright, so we've created the link to our style sheet here, so we actually have to create that file. Let's go to new file from template and let's just do CSS and we'll name this style.css and htdocs and just hit open and here we go. So let's say we did id head or header. Yes, that is correct. We did header. And then let's apply some styling to this. So let's say that it has a height of 150 pixels. And let's apply a wrap to this whole page. So let's just do div id of wrap. And then we'll delete that and end our div right there. And then just tab all this over. And we can see here that our wrap is. And the wrap should be up here. And that will have a width of, let's just do 1000. Standard width and margin zero auto to center it. And then let's have a background on our header. And let's say that it has a background color of F0, F0, F0. Cool. So now let's do our footer. And that will have a height of 25 pixels and a background of, let's do F5, 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 which is white smoke. And let's refresh this page. And we can see here that our page has been centered. We have, this is the footer file. This is the header file. This is all referenced as one HTML document, actually. It looks like it's just been direct coded into this page, like any other HTML page, but it is PHP. So that is how you create dynamic websites. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please rate, comment, or subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you later.